Welcome back to the show. Today is going to be a uh, viewer's recipe. That's right. Uh, every so often I'll see a recipe that a viewer sends me and I told this viewer that I would try this recipe out. This is supposed to be like a really, really good uh, macaroni salad. Now the interesting thing about that is I'll show you the ingredients are just a little different than what I'm used to in my macaroni salad. And I just have to say that's what intrigued me. So let's bring in close. Let's show you this. I want to first thank Kim for uh, giving me this, uh, this recipe. She says this macaroni salad is like the first thing to go at picnics. Since it's summer and it's cold, uh, the dish is cold, and you guys are eating outside with barbecues and stuff, I thought I'd, this would be the perfect side dish. So come on in close and let's take a look. Okay, so here's what we got. Here's the weird ingredient right here. Can of tuna. I have a little can, so I'm using two little cans. But I'm gonna use a can of tuna in my macaroni salad. Never heard of that before. Usually you do macaroni and tuna salad, but this includes tuna in it. Also it includes diced up uh, sharp cheddar cheese. Very interesting. And the one thing I did change from Kim's recipe, I'm using a stalk of celery. She said use a cucumber. So I will put that in the directions below. I'm putting Kim's original recipe down below and you have the option, you can do a diced cucumber, which I didn't want to do in mine, or you can do a diced celery, which is the other option, okay? We also have diced tomatoes, you got the elbow macaroni, you can use elbow macaroni, you can use salad macaroni, any type. You can do bow tie, bow tie is really cool in a pasta salad. And then it asks for garlic powder and onion powder and my, my seasoning, gourmet seasoning, has both garlic and onion in it. So I'm gonna use my seasoning, regular salt and pepper, that's all good. So the few uh, twists and turns on this recipe, let's try it out and see what it tastes like. First thing you wanna do is go cook your macaroni. Just throw this in some boiling water and then drain it out and bring it back here, okay? Everybody knows how to cook macaroni, so that's how you do it. So we're going to do that. While the water's boiling, I'm also gonna do my prep work. So I will be back here with the cooked macaroni and everything laid out, all prepared, nice and neat, and then we're gonna throw it all together. All right, now do me a favor. Make sure you run cold water over your macaroni to keep it from cooking, okay? And when you taste the macaroni, make sure it's ready. Don't burn your tongue like I did, all right? You don't wanna do that. So put your macaroni in here. There we go. Add your vegetables. I'm gonna do the celery, tomatoes. Put your mayonnaise in there. Throw your tuna in there. And if it seems like it's kind of dry, add a little more mayonnaise. Put a splash of vinegar in there if you want to thin it out a little bit, but I think we have plenty. We'll find out in a second. Just mix this up. Now I'm lazy. I don't like mixing and mixing and mixing. So instead of mixing it all up completely, I'm gonna get my seasonings in first and then continue mixing. Okay, I'm doing my garlic and onion powder right in there. Black pepper. Coarse salt. Now I'm gonna do the rest of my mixing. So you got about halfway, put your seasonings in and get that all in there. Still not completely mixed yet, go get your cheese. We're gonna put those in next. Now I always prep my cheese and then put it in the fridge to keep it from melting. But make sure all the cubes are broken up if you can. If not, they'll break up in the mix. There you go, get your cheese in there. Mix that in. And when you're mixing, always dig from the bottom and bring up. Dig from the bottom and bring up. There's always a clump down there that ain't getting mixed, so. Give it a good mix. Now some of you may be tempted to try it right now. I wouldn't try it right now. What I would do is I would put it in the fridge for a little bit. But before I put it in the fridge, I wanna do one more thing. I just wanna to top off the top a little bit with some paprika, just for a little bit of color. Now, put this in the fridge for about an hour. Give it a good chill. We're gonna try this in about 60 minutes. 
Okay, it's all chilled. Now, before you serve it, I'm, I like to toss the salads a lot um, because it's settled for a minute, but I just want to get the mix in again so it doesn't dry out. The top will dry out a little bit in the fridge. So give it a nice top. You can still see the paprika all throughout it. It's beautiful. There you go. And just freshen it up before you serve it. All right. We're going to take a little bit here. Get a good taste. Get some tomatoes. A little bit of celery. All right. Let's give that a try. Now, before I give this a try, I just want to give you a little more explanation on my tasting process. You're all like, oh, you always like it. You always go, mmm. Yeah, because it's good. I try not to cook crappy food on my show. But if it's not that good, or I think I should change it in some way, I'll give you the recommendation. But one thing about this show is we do everything first time. I don't prep for it. I don't practice for it. I don't pre-make anything. I do it live on the camera. So let's give this a try right now. I'm mouse watering already. Let's give this a try. And see how it tastes. Hmm. It's interesting. I like it. I love it. Um, I don't know, but the tuna and the macaroni together is kind of crazy. It's like I'm eating two salads at the same time, which I can get used to. Don't get me wrong. But uh, here, let me try it with the tomato and cheese. Hmm. Yeah. Don't do more than one can of tuna. It's perfect. This is really good. This will go very fast at the picnic. I love it. And the flavors are way clean. The sharp, you gotta do sharp cheddar cheese when you cube that cheese, okay? And just one can of tuna, mix it up good, and season heavily because it really gets absorbed. It's really nice. Kim, thank you for this wonderful macaroni salad. I love this. It's a viewer's recipe. Keep them coming. All right, and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Okay, hold on a minute. I want to try something. I'm going to take a little bit of vinegar. I just want to try something real quick. Let's see how it tastes. So pour a little bit. Maybe about two or three capfuls. Drizzle it really slow. It's going to give it its little bit of bite. There we go. Okay. My mom always added uh, vinegar or lemon juice to give it a little bit of that tang. I think it's gonna help this. It's gonna bring up all the seasonings. It's gonna really bring it all together. I don't know why, I have no idea why. I wish I knew the science behind it all. Okay, let's give it a try now. Mmm. Okay. Lemon, a little lemon juice. I prefer vinegar, so I don't have that powerful lemon flavor. Okay, it's, it, it is amazing. The salad's gone from really good to amazing. First try it without the vinegar, and then take my suggestion. All right, now I'll see you guys on the next episode. Take care.